Hello, it's been a bit of a while since I updated the tutorials section on my channel, so I thought I'd use it again after with it being <laughs> a year absent or something. And today I'm going to show you how you can connect your USB game controllers and configure them with emulators so you don't have to use the keyboard all the time. Because you know, sometimes you do want to play games with a controller instead of a keyboard as it's a bit uncomfortable. At least that's what I find. If you find it comfortable and fair enough, please away from this video <laughs> but it's actually pretty simple to it's actually pretty easy to set up what I am going to use is this is I have a SNES USB adapter where pretty much all it is is if you plug in Super Nintendo controllers um, and hook it up you know to the computer you can basically use your Super Nintendo controller on the emulator so it's pretty good because I find that the Super Nintendo controller is probably best for retro gaming. Because it's, you know, the button layouts and everything, the way you grip it, the feel. I don't know, that's personally what I think. This is more of just my opinion and all that. But, to set it up, it's pretty simple. If I go to something like Visual Boy Advance, because even though it doesn't say anything like input and that, it is actually possible to connect USB game controllers. So if I open up a recent game like, uh, I don't know, Let's go for Minish Cap, I reckon. Um, you want to go to your joypad and configure it. If I first want to check which one I'm using. So I'm using the third one. You need to configure it. Okay, so as you can see, it basically just pops up with things. You know, this is my keyboard thing. I just put in some random ones, really. This isn't really how I play it, because that will be really uncomfortable, let me just say. But... With the controller, it's pretty simple. Simply, you plug it in into the either the adapter hooked up to your PC, or just plug the controller into your PC, and you click on one, and you press up for whatever you want button, you know the button on the controller you want up to be, then down, left, right, button A, button B. In this case, it's you know button A and B on the Super Nintendo controller, button L, R. Select, start, you don't have to worry about speed and that because, well, there's no more buttons on the thing. <laughs> but even so. Then after that, um, if I just test out, so I'm just going to press start and all that, it should work fine, like the D-pad and everything. If anything, it, I find that it has perfect sync and everything, so it seems to work pretty well and all that. It's definitely more comfortable. With a game like Minish Cap and all, it's kind of uncomfortable playing it with the keyboard. So, you might want to revert to a controller or something. Fun fact, you can actually pick up like an Xbox 360 controller and it will work with your PC and all that. So you don't always have to buy adapters and everything. You could even get some game controllers like Super Nintendo controllers where they're just USB. But I prefer adapters so I can just connect to the adapter and it feels like I'm playing it on the original Super Nintendo or something. I don't know. It's just personally what I think anyway. Although, you know, for Visual Boy Advance, you basically had to go into the input setting of it. If I just go to something like, uh, let's see, we'll go for ZNES this time. And I am going to load Super Mario World, I reckon. So let me just see if it's around here. There we go. And I just want to configure my controller settings. So if you go to input this time, because on most emulators you want to go into configuration or options and there should be a thing saying input and you basically just want to do it from there, you know like before you click on it and then you press up and all that to configure it. I already have it configured because pretty much it's the same you know, like with Visual Boy Advance. If you want it to press, if you want it to be programmed as RP, press up on the D-pad, whatever you want up to be on the controller, whatever suits you and it's all good. Well, let's test it out. Don't worry about all that, that's just to show that I've exited from the menu and all that. So I'm just going to press start and all that, the button seems to work pretty well. So, pretty much, you know, to set it up it's pretty simple, you just go into the emulator, go into the option menus, and click on the ones where you want to program it with, and just click about with the buttons. It's pretty fun stuff. Definitely ideal for playing Super Nintendo games and all that. But, I thought I'd just update you with that, as it's been a bit absent, the tutorials, for quite a while. And they're pretty easy to make, 
and I had the time, so why not? <laughs> I mean, I recently got this device, and it's really useful, let me just say. But I hope this tutorial was useful, and just remember, this is the sort of thing you have to do if you want to play with game controllers on your PC, instead of using the keyboard. So, hope you enjoyed it.